Good morning and happy holidays to all. Zombie Executioner here. Today I will be shooting the Winchester 147 grain truncated cone full metal jacketed bullet into ballistic gelatin and possibly through a mock-up of a typical interior wall then into water jugs. The common position on the 9mm 147 grain full metal jacket is that it is not good for self-defense due to its overpenetration and failure to expand. Let's see. The scenario that I'm attempting to simulate here is one where the intruder is shot inside a typical house or apartment at close range. I believe that everyone would agree that if the shot misses or only passes through an arm or shoulder, a simple sheetrock wall is not going to stop the round and anyone in the next room and even beyond would be in danger. But what happens if the bad guy is actually hit center mass? Here's the setup. First up is a 12 inch long block of gelatin that unfortunately is about 15% denser than it should be. That's followed by a 12 inch block that is made to FBI standards of 1 pound of gelatin to 9 pounds of water. That's a total of 24 inches of gel that's probably acting more like 30 inches. That's one fat dude. I then have a 1 foot gap and a simulated interior wall made from two sheets of half inch sheetrock on 2 by 4 studs. Finally, I have four water jugs. With any luck, the bullet will stop somewhere in one of the water jugs. I lied. There are only two water jugs backing up the wall. I should have stuck to the plan and used four, but I doubt that four would have been enough either. As you can see, the bullet passed through both blocks of gelatin, through the wall, and both jugs. It's somewhere downrange. Not to worry though, there's nothing downrange except woods for over a half a mile. Here are the entry and exit points on each of the gel blocks. It's very hard to see the wound channel because it's just a 9mm hole all the way through. The angle of the bullet caused it to enter and exit the wall right at the bottom, then angle up through the jugs. I would have preferred a shot through the sheetrock, but this does show that the 9mm full metal jacket will ricochet off even soft plywood with unpredictable results. What's my conclusion? Do not use the 147 grain full metal jacket for personal defense. The risk to innocent people or just property damage is way too high.